Ahoy! How's it going, everybody? It's me, your guy Waddles. Welcome to Hardcore Survival Episode 23. So, last episode, we went ahead and found the stronghold, and this episode... Oh, this episode, it's time! We are going to do exactly what you thought we would be doing. It's, it's of course, with the stronghold out of the way, time to find a couple Minecraft bees, because I finally updated the world. It's Minecraft 1.15, so we gotta go find those guys. It, it's gonna be really exciting. I think Mount Waddle will feel a lot more alive if we can bring some bees back to, to the world. So yeah, I updated the world to 1.15. The clouds go straight through my house again because they don't have Optifine anymore. And uh, our imported cats, uh, these guys over here, they're, they're doing well too. But exploration time today. So the plan is to go to, I think, the the south. I, I didn't really go that way yet. I, I think? I'm not too sure. Oh, or you know what? Uh, I was thinking about it. Let's start by going to the north. This would be a huge mistake because we've already gone to the north, but I, I'd i like to start with filling in the rest of this map. By the end of the world, it would be kind of cool to have one filled in map, right? It, not that it's a big deal, but I, I think that would be kind of cool. So we've got our bed. Ho, 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 slow down, buddy. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna not do that. You will we'll move the plan for, for the cat, but Time to sleep, for sure. I, I gotta finish the bedroom. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start our day off by going over to the north. I have everything that I need. I should probably bring a little bit more wood, though, so we can make a campfire. Once we, or we can just make the campfire right now. That would work, too. There we go. Boom. Now, we're officially good to go to go find the Minecraft bees. We'll be able to find some flowers along the way, so I'm not really worried about that. My minecart is really at the bottom. Huh? <laughs> hey, okay. Well, I, I guess it is. I guess we didn't really need to go this way, though. We wanted to go that way. Hey, whoops. Hey, yep. <laughs> now, while we're down here, let's check on some of the people that matter to us. The sheep, of course. I'm sure they're fine. I don't see why why they wouldn't be. Nothing really big changed here in this update. Uh, yeah, everything looks great to me. And oh, boy. We gotta empty that. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna have to empty that for sure soon. Uh, okay, so the sheep are good. How about you, Dr. Villager? Are you... Uh, yeah, you're good. You're good. You're not doing the arm thing. Nice. That's that's cool. And then the cats, of course. How are we all doing? Daniel, Michelle, and I thought uh, they had a baby. Oh, yes, they did have a baby. Okay, so the cats are good, too. Now, hey, I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Hmm. Maybe it's my horse. I should probably check on my horse. E I wonder if I should have brought the horse. I wonder if I could do that. Yeah, let's just walk. Let's just walk. So, gotta say that e even though the V update is really small, I'm actually pretty excited about it. The biggest thing that I'm liking about this update so far, other than, of course, the bees, is the performance. Uh, I've seen some some people having problems, like on Twitter and, and of course, in my comment section. But for the most part, me, I, uh, everything seems to run pretty well, which is really, really good. Now, I am aware that 1.15.1 is already on its way out, uh, but a, uh, this video is being pre-recorded. And... I don't know if it's out, at least whenever this episode comes out, um, but I can tell you that when I'm working on this, 1.15.1 is not out. That update is meant to, I think, uh, fix some chunk loading things for the most part, maybe? I did hear about an Elytra chunk loading problem from Akoto Kuzumoto, a really cool streamer, but uh, I don't know, I guess I just uh, am kind of afraid of an Elytra. I, no, no particular reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, all in all, really, really loving 1.15, and the performance is so, so nice. Now, hopefully, that can transfer over to a server. Hopefully, it'll be as good on a server. Oh, hey, yeah, uh, would you look at that? I'm trying to fill in the map, but I think, I think I see a flower forest. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if that was loaded in before, because uh, I just don't no i don't think it would have been so maybe we're in luck maybe eh, maybe i i think i'm just gonna e you know what i'm gonna go to the top of the map and i'm not gonna take a shortcut i'm really trying to fill this thing in 
<laughs> I know it's a G tour. Hopefully the bees are in that biome. And if they are, oh my gosh, you boys are massacring the sheep. Not cool. I should have brought some bones with me to to bring to bring the dogs home. Wow. Can't believe they just did that though. Wow, that's crazy. All right, we're making good moves on the map and I have really really good news. So, it looks like to the north of this area over there, like that way is a plains biome actually, which is also really good for what we're trying to do so we need to find either a plains biome a sunflower plains or a flower forest now due to how bees spawn uh, a flower forest is definitely the best bet but a um, plains biome and, and sunflower plains those are both good bets as well this is 100 percent a new biome too a hey, we gotta we gotta do this real quick but yeah this is really really good there's no way that this area would have ever been loaded in so if there's gonna be bees this is going to be the place or one of the places uh, but it doesn't look like there's gonna be bees here so um that's okay that's all right it's it's okay is that a i think that's just a hill right that's not a flower forest uh, there's no way there's not oh oh that would have been really bad that would have been really bad all right we're gonna get back on the map so explain this minecraft explain this what is that that is a floating island uh, you've never seen one so big i don't know if i've ever even seen that in this world here i i don't think so i would have definitely made a comment about that a hey, explain that minecraft what is that um hmm that's really weird that's really cool though if only i was like looking for a base because that would be a really cool place to live all right here's the moment of truth dead ahead is a flower forest biome we're gonna head right over there and hopefully this is gonna be really easy i really hope the bees are just living in this biome i don't think it would have been generated in or loaded before so that's good that's definitely what we need but uh, that's only halfway there <laughs> uh so lots of trees that's really good and the biome is actually pretty sizable which is also <gasps> oh yeah oh yes oh this is good this is exactly what we needed this fine fine day where are the bees though that oh my gosh wow this is so cool see i'm i'm like tainted i had a lot of uh a hard time finding bees in the other oh, there they are oh boy the the fandom name is officially ch changed to the beliefs a beliefs that's that's what it is hey b uh okay so we need you at oh there's the other one hey hey guys hey, okay so lead lead you're not going anywhere you are staying right here and then we're gonna go ahead and take a nap then that thing is actually ready to go already this is really really crazy wow nice so in all honesty i don't know if we even need any any more bees or anything we have the two so that's good we're, we're gonna put the campfire right there we're gonna take some shears uh, share this thing thank you very much bees and uh did we get all there no we got two okay where's the other one? Oh, it's up there okay um this guy might accidentally end up going in there if we get him close to there so we definitely don't want that to happen um you know i don't think i need the campfire in all honesty i think we can just go we got the bees so yeah let's just go ahead and go home with 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 these guys and <laughs> i'm so excited this is awesome this is really really cool but yeah now i just gotta get all the way back home it's not too far we're gonna ditch filling in the map now by the way we have some high priority uh guests with us so yeah the map filling in that 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 can wait hey oh, okay did i lose them i did nice 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 uh well 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 would you take a look at this we got two minecraft bees and i can see mount waddle right now this is a good thing be beliefs hey beliefs hey i have a feeling that's not gonna stick mm, we'll see though we'll, we'll see about that <laughs> so our bees they, they need some names and i was thinking betho and maybe like uh um Doc B77. Those are cool names, I think. So we're gonna go with Beetho and Doc B77. I, I don't know what they mean, 
I made them up completely original. So yeah, that's the plan, but it is also nighttime. So we're gonna go ahead, take a nap, and then we need to figure out a housing situation for uh, our newest friends. I do know that I want the bee house to be down low. I don't think they should be up in the snowy area. That could be really bad. Uh, now, I don't know where I really want to put the house. I, I've got a few ideas as to what we could do, but it's just a matter of where. Like, where do I put this thing? So, uh, um, hmm. Well, we got all stone over there, and I didn't really want to terraform today, so... Maybe we put the house right over here. This could be an okay spot, like if I cleared these trees out. I, I think that would be good. Probably. Maybe. But uh, while we work on the house, the bees need to stay safe. They, they need to stay put. So if we put a fence down and then we take uh, the leads uh, like this and just go like that, then there we go. The bees are stuck there and I don't think they'll go anywhere. We'll give them like uh, a flower to, to distract them right like maybe they'll they'll do their big thing <laughs> but they should be safe while we cut down this tree and then talk about the build so uh but after i deforest a small area first things first we need to make a beehive of course for the bees to live but i discovered what is maybe a small bug in the guide world where basically these bees might not see their their new beehive home as their actual home so we'll have to breed those bees and then the babies th they'll get it but these ones over there they might still be trying to lock onto the home that's really far away so i probably should have just destroyed the thing but then i risk you know angering the bees and, and then it's just not really worth it because the bees could sting me and go away forever to to a bad place so yeah, we're just going to have to work around that weird mechanic, basically. Bees do not like water, so this water, that's going to have to definitely go away completely. And it looks like it's time for me to go right back up to... Uh, oh no, hey, I got a little bit of dirt. But we're probably going to have to climb the mountain. Kind of nervous to leave the bees alone down here, but I'm just going to have to trust Beetho and, and Doc B. I hope they're good. They'll be good. I believe in them. So, here's the grand plan. We are basically going to make kind of a giant bee, but also kind of not at the same time. I, I don't really want to make just a giant wool statue of a bee, but I'd like to incorporate the bee's face into the build. I think that could be really fun, and I think it would also kind of fit in with the sphinx right here. So, yeah, let's plan on doing that. Now, I think I want the, the face of the bee to start probably out here here a little closer to i guess almost to this town circle or square that i'm making uh, this tree you're you're gonna have to go you're gonna kind of be in the way sorry tree a hey, no offense so now how do we build a bee face um okay bunch of yellow square eyes and then the black antenna on the top that that should be pretty easy i think the eyes are two pixels wide and they start um you, you, you one off the bottom uh so like this and this and then that and then there's definitely a light blue part of their eye so there we go now i think looking at those bees that's three pixels above their eyes so one two three like that and then somewhere up here probably uh we probably want to do it like right there we'll do the antenna going up like this i think that's what their their antenna looks like and then basically copy this over. Yeah, that's a B. <laughs> that's definitely a B. Uh-huh. That's spot on. But how far are your eyes spaced apart? Hey, somebody look at me. Uh, yeah, okay. Not funny. Not funny. Hey, okay, three. Three blocks. So one, two, three. And then one, two, two. Like that. One, two. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, <laughs> yes, definitely. That's perfect. That's a Minecraft V. So now the rest of the build. Now, I was thinking that we'd probably create a frame for the face out of dark oak wood and have that go up. And then we leave some space open. So maybe one, two, three, four, five. And then we do a center beam. And then we can go one, two, three, four, five. And then do a back beam and probably just do like a backed stripe wall so basically these beams will go 
up and and over and then up and over and up and over on the back one too and then in the middle in here we'll have our bee nest or your beehive we'll have the beehive and then a bunch of flowers so the bees can go in and out and harvest the flowers and then they're also or at least they shouldn't be ever out under the open air uh, bees don't like water and i haven't tested it but i have a feeling the rain could hurt the bees they should stay inside of their home during the rain but you never know so we're gonna just do it this way so the bees i think stay safe um yeah and then oh you know what maybe we could incorporate some wax blocks into the build so maybe it's a good time to go ahead and make the new bee home the the beehive right there and then the beehive will go we, we want to center it in in here um yeah let's go right in the middle so right there and there and that's the beehive and so with the beehive place it is now time do the thing bees make the baby bee and then the baby bee can work on the flowers that I planted over here for you. Oh, water still. Get rid of the water. Baby bee, do the thing. Do the bee thing. And um, I'll probably move these guys in, oh, in under the thing after I get it built. Is this going to look okay? I think this is going to look okay. It's going to be abstract, but it should work. I think we'll be good. All right. Well, I am currently putting the finishing touches on the build. I think... It turned out really, really nicely. Uh, the build is like kind of abstract and I like that. It's definitely different than everything else in the world over here. But the only thing is, what kind of fences do I use there? Probably not oak, that's really bright. Maybe we could do like dark oak. That would probably blend in a little bit better. But I think as a whole, the build is unique. It's different in, in a good way, and I'm, I'm really happy about it. I definitely do need to make sure I, I get some lighting in under this thing, though, because it's, it's probably going to be good to spawn mobs, and I didn't really want to be mob farm, just a bee farm. Oh, and I moved the bees under this thing, and this needs to turn into a campfire, actually. And I was thinking I'd put trap doors around it, since we have this thing raised up. I, I just don't want the bees to accidentally fly into the campfire and, and get burnt up. I think that can happen. So I should do that, like, ASAP before I forget. So we'll do some lighting just like that. That should be more than enough. And then it's flower time. They definitely... We, we definitely need a lot of flowers inside of here. Now, I'd like to just make this kind of crazy, plant a bunch of random flowers inside of the thing, and then we'll come back in and fill some of the some of the empty space in with, I think, some bushes as well to, to really make this feel like some kind of crazy, crazy fancy garden. But I definitely don't want the bushes to really get in the way too much, so we're going to kind of keep them near the edge of this build and keep them pretty short as well. Uh, just... I don't know if the bees pathfinding will will behave properly so low bushes are good and i think that's probably it for our our bee home now all i need to do is really wait for the bees to do their thing so i can harvest uh the honeycombs from them or honey bottles if, if i wanted honey blocks but i think i want honeycombs i think it could be cool to maybe hang some honeycombs from the ceiling in here to make it almost look like like the bees are I, I don't know, like, maybe in some kind of cave, if that's what that would look like, you know what I mean? Long story short, basically, I need honeycombs from this thing, not really honey bottles. But I think that is everything for today's episode of the series. Oh, by the way, the bee does have a stinger, of course. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is just about it for today's episode of the Hardcore Series. I hope you guys enjoyed the, this project. Definitely a necessary step in the completion of this world, of course, of course. And happy holidays. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching the videos, as always. And uh, go, go have a good one. Stay safe. Goodbye, everyone. That's me, Waddles.